It's a bit of an honour. Um, Maddie's left a massive hole in the team, but um, you know Nick said it early on that it creates opportunities for players, not just within leadership roles, but um, you know top of the order, bowling, fielding, um, which is only a good thing for the team moving forward. Yeah, it depends. Uh, depends on the day, I think. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm a players captain, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not one of those people that it's my way or the highway sort of thing. It's very much a collaborative effort. So, um, yeah, I've I kind of said it during our weekend away to the group, but we're a team of 15 leaders, and that I think is going to um, show how good we are um, on the field, and it, it's going to show our depth as well. You know, we've got a 15 year old, and we've got sort of a 32, 33 year old as well, and everything in between, and they're all leaders in their own right. So should hopefully also make my job a little easier. Um, but yeah, it'll just make, um, I think it'll give them all something to look forward to, that they will have a voice and, and that sort of thing. So yeah, very much a player's captain. A new strength and conditioning coach, new head coach, new assistant coach, yeah. new captain now. <laughs> yeah, um, lots of news. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, Nick's obviously been with us for a while and um, I think this season's proven how organised he is. I think every training, I've never had a training this scheduled and organised and stuff, which is great for the group, you know. Um, so yeah, he's he's been fantastic and getting Brad on board now as well has kind of provided that, um, sort of that fresh um, approach. You know, he's not far out of playing professional cricket, so he brings a lot of relevance to the group. and. Um, yeah, it's nice getting Josh on board as well as our new SNC and Emma's back again um, as well as our physio. So yeah, we've got a pretty cool, pretty cool management group. As a group, we haven't spoken about goals this season. I think the last few years that those trophies have always been in the back of our minds, um, and we haven't spoken about that. But there's been this sort of calm vibe over the team um, this whole pre-season, and and I just think that. Um, possibly shifting the focus from winning trophies to everybody being successful game in game out. I think that's probably the way we're going to go and um, you know obviously at the end of the day if we can win trophies that's brilliant um, but for me personally you know I want to create a real safe environment that empowers people to do um, to play at their best and express themselves and all that sort of stuff. We've got an amazing group of, of young and old talented players, not old, <laughs> an amazing group of talented players. Um, and you know, I just think if if that environment's right and and um, you know we're not focused on the outcome, things you know things will take care of themselves. So. Yeah, I think oh, it's it's brilliant that women's domestic cricket's finally being recognised um, and and rewarded um, in a way. Um, you know, I was kind of saying to the group that this is this is the start of something really cool and if in 5, 10, 20 years time or whenever it is that women's cricket becomes more professional um, to the point where domestic players are fully you know not having to work and all that sort of stuff they won't be the ones benefiting from it but they can say that they were there and they built it and they started something and I think that's really cool you know we're at the start of something really amazing and quite groundbreaking in New Zealand to be fair um, so yeah, I think it can only get better from here and it helps that we've got, you know, more games televised, playing alongside the men and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we're all pumped.